Hello everyone, I hope you all guys are healthy and safe. Dear students, today we are going to discuss Unit 8 Physical Education of Class 11. Unit 8 is Fundamentals of Anatomy, Physiology and Kinesiology in Sports. In this chapter, today we are going to discuss last topic which is Equilibrium. We will know about Dynamic Equilibrium, Static Equilibrium and you will also know about the Center of Gravity and its application in sports. I already prepared other topics of this chapter if you haven't watched yet you can watch I have given the link in the description so today we are going to talk about first equilibrium so now let's know what is it the meaning of equilibrium equilibrium is a condition in which force cancel one another what is it equilibrium is a condition in which force cancels one another it is also known as balance okay balance is also known as equilibrium or we can say the equilibrium is also known as balance so now let's know the definition what is the definition of equilibrium okay uh, a body is said to be in equilibrium okay a body is said to be in equilibrium if the resultant of the force forces acting on it is equal to zero now let's understand it once again a body is said to be in equi equilibrium if the resultant of the forces acting on it is equal to zero so this is the meaning of equilibrium this is the definition of equilibrium now let's know the what is the dynamic equilibrium what is static equilibrium so now let's know about the first dynamic equilibrium what is it dynamic equilibrium all applied and internal force acting on the moving body are in balance resulting in movement with unchanging speed or direction okay to control equilibrium and achieve balance stability needs to be maximized it is a state where body is in motion with unchanged acceleration created by applied or initial force like walking or running small basis you can understand with the help of this picture okay what is dynamic equilibrium uh, it is a state where body is in a motion with unchanged acceleration created by applied or inertial forces like walking and running uh, or small in a small base and uh, there are some more examples which you can see in the pictures okay so this is dynamic equilibrium now let's know about the next one which is static equilibrium what is static equilibrium okay body is at rest or completely motionless okay when a body is uh, at rest or completely motionless uh, like standing on well one leg okay as you can see in the pictures this is static equilibrium what is static equilibrium when body is at rest or incompletely motionless there is no motion in the body so that is called static equilibrium i hope you understood about the dynamic equilibrium static uh, equilibrium now let's know about the center of gravity and its use application in sports center of gravity now what is center of gravity first understand it okay so it is the point at which all the body's mass seems to be concentrated what is it let's know it once again it is the point at which all the body's mass seems to be concentrated okay now let's know applications of central of, gra central of gravity in sports okay what is the use of central of gravity in uh, sports so first is it is an important concept in determining the stability of a body while performing physical or sports activity okay second is the stability is maximized in object or body with a lower center of gravity and a wide base okay the last point is center of gravity plays a vital role uh, while body performing dynamic movement and static position okay so this is uh, the meaning of center of gravity what is center of gravity these are the uses we can say or application of center of gravity in the sports now let's know some examples related it examples first let's see the inside the body center of gravity while playing or sports or sports activities okay so inside the body while performing bending 
in wrestling and running bending of your legs and uh, during the movement okay wrestling and running so the center of gravity plays great role outside of the body while performing uh, somersault and uh, cross belly flop somersault and cross belly flop are the techniques of uh, jumping events okay so uh, the center of gravity plays a great role here also now some factors are uh, affecting center of gravity okay some factors are uh, which with the affects the center of gravity like first is age age is affect center of gravity okay uh, according, according to age the center of gravity is goes up or down okay and uh, this next point which affects the uh, Central of gravity, which is gender, okay, which is uh, seen uh, mostly in the girls. This uh, central of gravity in the lower, and in boys, the central of gravity is little uh, high, okay. And height, the third factor uh, which affects the central of gravity, which is height, okay. The height is also uh, the thing which affects the central of gravity in the people. So this is the example and factors which can affect the center of gravity. I hope you understood about today's topic, equilibrium and center of gravity and its application in sports. So that's all for today. Thank you. Be happy. Be healthy. Hey there. Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon.